Namaste. Welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I'm Divine Energy. Welcome to this beautiful, lit, abundant, and prosperous YouTube. Here on this channel, I do different spiritually related videos and content. If you resonate with the videos, the messages, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Also, make sure you hit the post notification so you're always alerted when I'm uploading to the channel. Let's get into it, y'all. Let's jump into it. We got a message for Pisces. Okay, I don't know why I felt like singing that little intro for you, Pisces, but let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Holy Spirit, angels, and guys, what is it I need to see for Pisces at this time? First, let's get your oracle messages. Get that out the way. What is it I need to see for Pisces at the placements? For Pisces here, Holy Spirit. Okay, so you got our animal guardian, trust your instincts. So at this time, Pisces, they want you to, your spirit team wants you to trust your instincts. Okay, it's like you already could see something. Duh, you're Pisces. Um, you also have our star ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. So it's like go with your soul, what your soul wants you to do. Okay, your heart wants you to do. Your Ananhata. Okay. Mountains, stand your ground. So spirit wants you to stand your ground here on in this particular situation here, or maybe a few particular situations, but yeah, stand your ground here. Okay. Okay, so let's jump into the vibes in your present for Pisces placements, collective messages. Where are you in your present? Pisces. Where's the present? Problem. Damn. Damn. Fuck. But hold on, wait a minute. We okay, we're gonna tap into that. Okay. Damn, hold on. Whew. I don't think I'm gonna have to clarify this, but we just gonna jump into it. Pisces for you in your present situation. I see you in this sort of page of swords energy. It's like you're gaining insight or gaining awareness of a particular situation, okay, in your present, or it's like <coughs> <coughs> or you could be looking at something that inv <coughs> or you could be looking at something and investigating something on a deeper level in your present energy let's clarify that though my bad y'all I'm tired of shit it's like 4 o'clock in the morning y'all <laughs> glad right to pay the service for the Pisces placements here collective Okay, so yeah, we got the full. So you got a new start. Something that you, like, you, you're not even ready for this new venture. I feel like because you're too busy, like, looking around or, like, examining something. But it's like you're trying to gain some sort of clarity or some sort of understanding of something here. Some higher knowledge, a higher perspective. Something you feel like right now in your present energy, I feel like, is out of your depth or out of your reach. Okay, some some shit like that I'm getting. Now, problem area for Pisces, I'm seeing with the Empress. I'm seeing you very abundant. Also, I'm seeing that you're going to get like a wish come true with the Sun and the Empress. That's like a wish come true, a wish fulfillment here for you. Also, you've been manifesting this. You've literally been manifesting something. So, it's like you're watching and waiting for something to happen. Okay, and then we have the Seven of Wands problem area, stand your ground. Seven of Wands is stand your ground, okay? So you've been asked that twice for a reason, Pisces. It's like you're going to have to stand your ground, like, when it comes to sticking up for yourself. I feel like that's what you've been doing. That's what the manifestation is, to stand up for yourself, okay? And I feel like you're coming through like you're doing that now, okay? Now let's get your recent past here, energy. 
or let's get your uh unaware self how about that hold on let's get pisces unaware self hold on okay so in the unaware self you see there's a lot of changes that i want to say are unbeknownst to you but i feel like you know some of these changes are coming we also have the death here in rebirth so you're reconstructing ideas or <coughs> yeah, it's like with this death card it's like you're transforming or changing deeply what are you changing what is transforming for you life oh, I feel like life is transforming your life is transforming. Your life is changing. It's what I'm getting. It's what I'm feeling. Clarifying the will and the uh, death and rebirth. We have literally the magician and the four of cups. It's like you're manifesting like something more or something deeper. In your unaware self. In your recent past. For Pisces. Recent past. In the recent past for Pisces. Damn. I was trying not to get you that many cards. In the recent past, like you've been down, your energy has been low. It's like you've been really trying to be distant or stay into yourself. You know, maybe trying to cut back from some of these addictive aspects of the self. It's like you wanted to change. You're looking for some sort of change. So it's like that's why your manifestation powers are like on 10 right now be real with you because your recent past you had to come through like something that was really dark or heavy or difficult to deal with clarifying the recent past with the four of swords yeah taking a lot of time to yourself as well as the moon dealing with your emotions things not seen two of pentacles Finding some sort of balance in between it all, right? Pisces in the future. We have our three of cups. So I see you celebrating with this three of cups. It's in reverse. Why are you in reverse in celebration? What's this three of cups in reverse for Pisces at this time? What is this three of cups here? What is it? The judgment. Okay, so maybe feeling out of touch. King of cups. Feeling like you're emotionally immature. Be honest with yourself. I feel like you'll gain some sort of clarity. When you're able to see yourself like in your real light versus the light that, you know, maybe others have tried to push off the narrative of who you are. Kind of seeing yourself in the light that you want to see yourself in in the future will help brighten your spirits, brighten your hopes, help you see things clearly. Okay, I feel like your future energy is bright, but you it's also something dim, trying to dim your light. You know, so you're just going to have to figure that out. Like, why? What is this within me that's trying to, like, sabotage something here for, for yourself in the future? And the aware self for Pisces. Damn it. Yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So I see a new relationship. Something that could lead to, like, family. 
with someone at some point. Pisces in your influence here, your power. Wow, okay, so we got the Hierophant and the Hangman. So you got it's like you're gonna have to let go of your ideas or the way that you've seen how something would turn out. It might turn out a different way than how you foreseen it. I'm think I'm when I said lack of depth, right? It's not that you don't have the depth to reach it because you're fucking Pisces, right? Um you ever hear that term swimming with the fishes that's like deep right so that's you pisces like so i know is that you don't it's not the depth part it's more so of the perspective because sometimes you you could get a little practical you know and we all do that right <clears throat> yeah in your environment you got some sort of good news coming towards you Final card for Pisces. We have also have about the Knight of Cups final card. So it's like I see love or something wanting to happen and come into your life with this Knight of Cups. You know, romance, a new um, offer, uh, good thing. So, okay, clarify the Knight of Cups and what's the good thing. Wow, Nine of Pentacles to the Queen of Swords. I feel like you want love, but you also want to work on yourself in the, uh, in the outcome here yeah four wands wow but this is also about building like so you <laughs> god dang it pisces it's like i'm almost getting like you want your cake and eat it too which is like you know it, you're gonna um be building a foundation or home with someone <laughs> Ace of Wands. Clarifying the Ace of Wands in your conscious self. Yeah, we got the Hang One. So we got a lot of surrender here. A lot of letting go of something here. And what you're aware of. I feel like feeling like you know it all or some shit like that. Or you got all the answers. And you don't have to in every situation. Yeah, especially when it comes to the lovers. Partnership. All right. Okay, so maybe that's some of the good news that's getting ready to come in. Like, you may be feeling better, like, that you have a better option or better chances with somebody or something like that. Something's giving you, like, better hope or something here. Yeah, there's two of wands. Like, something's giving you better hope, clarity, <coughs> clarifying the hangman, <coughs> as well as the hierophant. Yeah, we got the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's a lack of judgment or something like that to the Five of Wands. Also, something feels like for you it may be a fight and you don't want to fight or something like that. Like you want something to come easy. Eight of Wands, clarifying the Eight of Wands. Be aware if you are the resistance, though, Pisces. This is what I want you to know. To the five of swords. Yeah, to the world. So be aware of, you know, you being that thing that's holding something back here. Clarifying the five of swords. Yeah, whip. Yeah, so they're saying get cracking on whatever it is that you want. Okay. Follow the voice of your soul. Okay, but get cracking on it. Okay. What is the world? Okay, so obstacles are going to be easily removed also for you, Pisces. I feel like, Pisces, you're, you're very telepathic or supportive. Keep your wits about you. You know what I mean? Like, what I see here for you. Okay. We also got out the lovers, clarifying the lovers. Ship. Got out ship. Going places. Yeah. Swift travel, movement trip adventure vehicle yeah so pisces you're going somewhere and it's probably not just with this lover this is probably like you actually 
some sort of travel coming for Pisces soon. Okay, at some point here. Can we get a time frame for Pisces? Can we get a time frame for Pisces? February, I heard. And what else do I see? A boat. Inheritance. Can we get a time frame? Love. God damn it, Pisces. <laughs> we also have our January. <clears throat> Shit. Any more time frames? Damn it. Happiness. Happiness. And then we also have our October. Okay. So this is what I'm getting for Pisces. Let me know how you guys like this read. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.